Hi, I'm Captain Andrea. I'm Commander Matthew. And welcome to Trek Back Tuesday. This is the show that explores time and space to seek out new toys and old merchandise from across Star Trek timeline universe. Yes, and today we're going to the Delta Quadrant. That's right, we're continuing our look at the Star Trek Voyager line from Playmates in 1995 as part of this this year being the 25th anniversary of Voyager being on TV. Woohoo! And we're going to take a look at Commander Chakotay. The Starfleet personnel turned Maki turncoat, then turned back to Starfleet crew. Yeah. He's had a bit of a journey, hasn't he? He's had quite a journey, yes. It's been a long road. You owe me latinum! Keep track of how many Enterprise references I'm making this series win a prize at the end of the show. What are you going to give him, an archer? <laughs> I'd give him a trip, but... Ooh! <laughs> have faith in heart, we'll get through these series, don't worry. So here's a look at the packaging, which is exactly the same as our Captain Janeway figure, and guess what? They're going to all be identical, so Pretty much we're right. not going to linger on that much. Once again, we've got a trading card, a look at some of the accessories, but the trading card obscures most of that. On the back, you just have a look at who's in the wave, you have a breakdown of the accessories, and you have a bio. It doesn't give that much information other than how he went from Starfleet to Maquis to Starfleet again. Yeah, nothing really episode-specific besides the pilot, at least yeah. on this. Yeah, so all that's left to do is get him out of the package. Commander Matthew, beam him out. Hi, Captain. Chakotay is on the deck, Captain. Okay, so let's take a look at him. For likeness sake, this is a great Chakotay. Definitely looks like Robert Beltran. Yeah, I mean, even the tattoo, the face tattoo, that's just looking really clean, very nice. Um, we had previously reviewed a Maki Chakotay. I actually think this one's better. Yeah, I think the Maki Chakotay tattoo is like really thicker. On yeah. Him, yeah. This is a lot thinner, and surprisingly, after this many years, it still looks to be in really good shape looks really fresh and just yeah it just it just looks better i imagine they probably made it thicker because this probably rubs off a lot faster though so if you're a kid playing with it yeah. this won't last very long no i could see that so with the voyager figures there are essentially i think two body types of the male mm -hmm. figures this is one of them we'll see the other one in the next video basically one is a little bit thicker than the other yeah so this is the thicker body i believe yeah because uh chakotay's a thick boy he is in terms of articulation he's got the same as captain did which is the head can move left and right, shoulders can go up and down. Ooh, so that looks like cracking. He's got some good cracking going. Got some good cracks. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> I think please I just tell me you just broke. Oh god. I just camored Chicote. Oh my god, I really thought you broke that. He's got the waist that turns, so that's really loose. He's got the the classic V fold for the legs, so you can have a nice little sit down, do some stretching. Yes, but he also has the fun little thigh joint, so he can sit sort of straight. So he can actually, yeah, he can no, actually he sit can in a chair. No, he can play patty cake with someone. He can. Sort of. He can't really sit. Oh. There you go. Oh, there you go. He splits. <laughs> or he could have his legs like this, too, for Teddy's in a car. Or he's doing a squat. That's right. He's just doing his uh, fight fit routine. And on the bottom, we have the serial number for him as well, because he's limited edition, of course. Because everything's limited edition with Playmates. Yeah, we're probably not going to really focus on that too much for this line. At this point, no. I mean, Playmates is going really hard on the limited edition stuff, even to this point, if yeah. not more so, because the line is starting to die out. Ugh. But yeah, these limited editions mean nothing to us. No. They mean so little. We're not even going to talk about them anymore. We're going to move on to accessories. Yeah, this is Starfleet Insignia. I find this one interesting. The stand is Starfleet Insignia, but I don't know. Would it have made more sense to give him a little bit of a Maquis thing, or should the Maquis Chakotay have had that? Oh, I think, did, did the Maquis Chakotay have that? I don't remember. Anyone want to watch the video and um, remind us? That'd be cool. So I guess, yeah, he can have Starfleet, because he does go back and forth on it. Yeah, I, I'd say he's a little bit of both. But it makes sense. At this point, he's in a Starfleet uniform, yeah. so it would make more sense to have that. I guess I just like the idea of him having a Maquis stand in a Starfleet uniform. There so, you go. Look how noble he looks. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, now he looks very commandery. Yeah. He comes with a phaser. He's already shooting. Pew, 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 pew. It's a lovely lilac phaser. Perfect for Easter. I really like this color. Yeah. Oh, he comes with a Sims beacon. Looks like it attaches to his wrist, I guess. Let's see if we can yeah. attach that to something. It's sort of like a binocular, though. And Chakotay comes with a medicine bundle. Which I think the Maki Chakotay also came with these pieces as well. I don't remember. I, I remember there, there being some medicine bundle pieces. This would be a kuna. Blackbird's feathers. The pile of feathers, you just pull off a bird. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Chakotay would never just pull him off a bird. He would do it respectfully or pick it up from the ground. Yes, politely first. Yes, and a stone from the river. Really nice stone. It's a really lovely stone, yeah. Yeah. A kuchimoya. Chakotay, a kuchimoya. A lot of interesting accessories. I mean, I have to say this is 
pretty nice at this yeah. point. But they are a little sparse. They're not really that exciting, I yeah, guess. Yeah, what are you, you gonna say? do with them? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with this medicine bundle? You know, it's cool to have it. Yeah, but. Yeah, well, what's a kid gonna do with a stone from a river? Like, what's the point of holding the feathers? I mean, yeah, what, what do you. <laughs> you can, like, I bet some kids probably have them and be like, Ninja Chakotay, Ninja Stars, go! And, yeah, I, I can see that. Happening, see that yeah, but, but yeah. yeah, there's really not much that you can do with them. I mean, they look. I actually really like how they look, but. Eh, not the most exciting. No, and the phaser is not terrible, but again, it's purple, so. Yeah, but we've had weirder colors. At least this is a deeper purple. Yeah, that's true. We've definitely had a, weirder colors. Yeah, this is a little bit more of a periwinkle than a lilac. I feel like lilac would be a little lighter purple. So why don't we have Chakotay join the captain on the bridge? I think that's a great idea. Let's just move all that. So here is our Intrepid Class Command Chair set from Triple Fiction Productions. We're doing a lot of cool stuff with them these days, so mm-hmm. make sure to check out their website and the links below in our description and comment section. And can I just say, talk about being a manspread of Chakotay, like, yeesh! I mean, he's clearly mansplaining right now. Uh, well, I wasn't going to say he's mansplaining. He usually is very good about that, and he'll listen to, you know, he'll, he'll listen to his captain, but just he's spreading. There's no room for toxic masculinity in Starfleet. <laughs> no, there is not. Look how good they look on the bridge. And I just want to show you guys, too, since we got this all together, this flip-up console that's here as well. I'm not going to show you the decals on it, but it's kind of cool to have it all together now. Um, actually, we really shouldn't have this console up. This is the self-destruct console. Put it down! Put it down! Huh. Well, let's not talk about that again. <laughs> but yeah, this is how these guys look together on the command chair, and we're going to start adding more crew members, of course, as we continue looking at this Playmate series. I'm very excited about that. It, they look good. Yeah, this is a really, really good accessory to have. And there's one last thing, of course, we didn't mention yet, and that's the Chicote trading card. Forgot to talk about that. Yeah. Boop! As you can see, there it is over there. And uh, yeah, once again... Bio's better? Yep. Bio mm-hmm. is way better. Huh. They called him an American Indian. Yeah, so the bio you can see here actually talks a little bit more about interactions with other crew members. So it talks about his talking about Bilana, about his medicine bundle. And despite it being a lot more concise, it just actually has, I feel like, more info. Yeah. Because of how they wrote it. So again, the Skybox cards way better than the toy packaging. Yeah, and I think really the moral of this story is people can write concise bios if it's written well. Yeah. So really there are a few brands out there. Y'all know who we're talking about. Take some advice. So that's our look at Commander Chakotay from Playmates 1995 Voyager line. And with that, I'm Captain Andrea. I'm Commander Matthew. And this has been Trek Back Tuesday. Until next time, live long and buy toys.